Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is by request. One of the Maniac Mowers subscribers asked John for this video, and he's at his grandmother's house and busy, and he wanted it right away. Besides, his tractor's not complete. Together right now, he parted it out. So, this is a video going over every detail that I know about a 317 John Deere. Uh, starting with the KT-17 Kohler twin cylinder engine, 17 horsepower. Um, I don't know the rated RPM on this motor, but uh, I've used it a little bit. Ran it just over an idle and dropped the tiller in the ground and it didn't care. So, really good motor. These motors are known to break piston rods if you run them low on oil. So, keep oil in them for sure. Keep them full and keep them changed. I still need to do an oil change on this tractor. But, they changed that and I believe... 83 and they put a series 2 in it which did not have that issue as badly um, the next thing is the uh, 15 or 15 U. I'm, I don't remember exactly which and John didn't either Sunstrand hydrostatic transmission um, three and a half gallon gas tank capacity uh, mine has the Number 33, rear tiller, uh, which requires this PTO. If yours does not have that, that is normal. It will just have a fan on the back of the pump, which you have to have that. Um, the front tires are 16 658s. Um, rear tires are 23 10 50 12. Um, this tire tractor has all original tires. Uh, these are the original turf tires on the front. And these would be the more aggressive option on the rear. Um, this tractor is all original. Uh, most of them had an hour meter right here in the dash. Um, not all of them. Uh, mine still has the original seat. This would be the correct original seat. Uh, no ribs in it or lines. It's just got John Deere embroidered in the back. Um, uh, down to working it obviously This is your throttle. This is idle. This is full throttle um, PTO right here on off on Off and then your choke of course uh, Pushed all the way in is unchoked, which is how you would run it um, Pulled out is how to start it if it starts hard or it's cold that would be choke on and choke off um, then moving over to the other side, you have your light switch pulled out to turn them on, push it in to turn them off. And of course over here your amp meter, this tells you if it's charging your battery. And the way that this is set up is when your battery is fully charged, this will go back to the middle and not show anything. Um, when you're starting it, it will go into the red, meaning it's your battery is losing charge. Um, if it's not charging, this might show that it's losing charge or it might not. Um, this is your hydrostatic lever. This is neutral. To go backward, you push it back. To go forward, you push it forward and just put it in a desired speed. Um, these are your hydraulic levers. I've never had a mower deck on a 317, so I'm not 100% sure on this. I know the outside lever does lift the tiller, and I assume the mower deck then too. And it's just normal. This one would be, and both of them run your two sets of front hydraulics. Uh, this one has float. It's got just your hydraulics. Then if you push it all the way forward, it stays. That's float. Um, this right here would be the deck height adjust. As you see, if you turn it clockwise, it's uh lets it go lower and if you turn it counterclockwise it goes higher what this does is if i were to turn this counterclockwise um all the way and you have to have your 
attachment up to do so, then when you set it down, it just will not set down. If you turn this uh, all the way clockwise and set your attachment down, it will go all the way to the ground. Um, next is this knob right here, is your transmission disengage to freewheel the tractor. Um, threaded out, so counterclockwise, is uh, engaged to drive and thread it all the way down would be disengaged to push it around. I'm moving on down here. Uh, serial number tag right here. Um, I use tractor data to run my serial numbers. Just search Google John Deere 317 info and click on the tractor data. It's usually the first or second link that shows up. Um, obviously key switch, you got off, run, and start. Then this is your brake lock. If you push your brakes all the way down and drop that down, it sticks your inside pedal. If you want them both to stay down, you have to lock them together, like so. Um, and that's getting to this. This is your lock. It locks your pedals together um, because these are individual brakes. This pedal stops this tire over here and this pedal stops this tire right here. So if you wanna make, say, a sharp right turn, you turn all the way to the right and push this pedal all the way down and this tire will lock up and help you make your turn. Um, let's see here. Obviously, like I said, three and a half gallon gas tank and it should have a gauge on it like this one and that's also the cap. Um, mine's fairly old. I don't know if it works or not. It looks like it should if that floats. Um, they do get old and stop working. Um, this one has tail lights. I don't think all of them did. Some of them had reflectors. Um, front lights, they all had, all 317s. These hydraulics are for a snow plow or a snow blower or just whatever else you want to put on the front of this tractor. Um, there's lots of different options. Um, it does not have power steering. It is manual steer, which is fine because it's not all that heavy in the front end. Um, moving back to the tiller, because mine has it. To engage the tiller, this is always running if the engine's on and running. So to engage the tiller, you bring this over and stick it in that slot. And when I do that, you see there's the two belts and that pulley comes over and tightens the belt. This right here is the lift bar also for the tiller or a sleeve hitch. Now on to mounting. You might see, you probably can't, it's dark, bolts with spacers on the bottom in here. On the bottom of your back plate on the outside, there will be two bolts with spacers. That is to mount a tiller or a sleeve hitch or other rear mounted attachments. It's got a groove, you just slide it over that bolt. And then it's got these pins that clip into the holes in the top of the frame. On to front mounting. Same ordeal but the attachment will have a pin that goes right down in here and sits like this and a clip that'll clip into here and that on both sides and then obviously you'd plug it in. There's no front linkage on one of these hydrostatic tractors. This hole is fairly well useless um, unless you want to somehow rig up a mower deck on it off of a gear drive because that's what those holes would be for. I think they just use the same frame. Um, the mower deck you see up in here you probably can't see actually there's little notches there we go there's little notches up in here right here on both sides and then right here on both sides so 
So right here and right here on each side right here and here that's where your mule drive sets and uh, it just holds itself in there with the tension of the belt and that's pretty well all there is to go over um, I can't start the tractor right now because I don't have a battery in it um, this right here is your fill for the engine oil um, you got your points are under here coil and condenser uh, carburetor air filters in here um, like I showed earlier the dipstick is right here please focus dipsticks right here oil fills right there fairly easy accessible on a 317 there should be a little sight tube right here Right here is a sight tube for checking it and for filling it. You see this nut right here? That's how you fill it. So, uh, any other questions, please feel free to ask. Like I said, this is my 1980 317. It's all original. Uh, came from the dealer with that tiller. Um, it's supposed to have a hood latch in here, but mine's missing. Um, they seem to always be missing because they cause havoc with the latch system. So that's the extent of what I can think of that I need to tell y'all. Um, if y'all have any more questions, drop a comment down below and feel free to ask. And I will answer any questions that I can. Um, thanks for watching. And if you're new here because of this video, um, please hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of toys around here. Um, I got a whole 200 series set from the 200, 208, 210, 212, 214, and my 216 is up front. Way, way up there right here. Then I got a whole bunch of other tractors, patios, uh, snowmobiles, so... If anyone's interested in anything I do here, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm currently restoring a 112 side tag. So uh, if anyone's interested in any of that, please subscribe and like this video if it was useful. Like I said, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to let me know. I also do some buying and selling. I'm in Ohio. So if anyone wants to buy or sell with me, um, just Comment on one of my videos and I will get with you. Um, you can also email me at starchersdeerfarmmike at gmail.com. That is S T A R C H E R S D E E R E F A R M M I K E at gmail.com. Um, it might take me a day or two to respond. I don't usually use my email a whole lot, but if you have anything to sell or any questions, drop a comment or shoot me an email and I will get to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.